Hey y'all, it's your girl Suzette with Crafting with Suzy coming to you today with a new post review from Diamond Art Club. But before I get into all of that, if you are new to my channel and you like what you see, please hit the like button. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so you're notified of when I do my next upload here on YouTube. I put upload information on my Instagram page. I'll be sure to put that link below. And if you've been back to see me several times, thank you so much for your support. I love reading your words of encouragement. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alrighty guys, woo! So if you guys have been watching my channel, you guys know that this right here, Beautiful Death Colored by JoJo's Art, is one, a beautiful painting, but two, this was the painting that basically opened the door to my burnout with diamond painting. So I'm just going to kind of go over that first, then I'll go over the post review, and this will be kind of a short video, but um, I'm gonna look at my journal real quick. So, I started this, <laughs> I started this painting April 28th, 2021. I finished this painting October 1st, 2021. I took a very long break in between. I actually ended up having to put it away and I actually wrote down, I love my little, this is my little journal that I use for my diamond paintings. But I actually wrote down on July 28th that I had decided to stop working on this painting. Did I say that right? Did I say July 8th or 28th? July 8th of 2021, I decided to um, stop working on this painting. Um, I actually had put it aside maybe two weeks prior to that though. But July 8th is when I notated that I was like, I decided that I'm done. I just can't. Then I started it back up September 26th. And then I finished it October 1st. So, um, just really quick, I was really struggling with this painting. I think I had been diamond painting for, at that time, a year. And that's all I had been doing as far as crafts were concerned. And I just, I think was getting to the point where I was thinking I didn't even wanna do it anymore. But that wasn't true. It was really that I was just burnt out from diamond painting and having the, the burnout caused me to go ahead and start me coloring and taking a nice break from it um, for a few weeks. Then I started poolside. That really helped me get back my groove for diamond painting. So this one here is of course not big at all. It's only a 42 by 60. Um, I actually bought this one because Bella Art de Nicole was doing some kind of butterfly event. And as you can see, it has the pretty, uh, the pretty blue uh, butterflies. It's a round, it has 35 colors. Um, it is still on um, Diamond Art Club's website. It's a very pretty painting. I mean, it's very pretty. I like it a lot. This one does have the soft canvas background that um, feels really like velvet. It's very pretty, very soft. Um, I just got burned out from it. But the blues were nice. There was uh, the 310 color blocking. It was quite a bit of that also. I did add eight Bs in the, the skull here. I did add eight Bs here. And 
it ended up being actually really, really pretty. I didn't have issues. Oh, just one, just one. But that was my fault. I take responsibility. Um, there was an area, I believe it was on this side where it lost its tackiness. And I think I said that before and I had to put down some of that diamond dots adhesive and then it was fine. So it wasn't a big deal, but the drills were fine. I had plenty of drills left over. That was what I kept in my Craftsmate. I'll show you what I had left over. So it was kitted up in here. I have plenty of drills left over. I didn't run out of anything. I mean, it was just fine. I have plenty of drills left over. Um, and I know they give you extra drills just in case you do have a spill. There was one AB that was in this one, which was 127. And it was a pink color. I hope you guys can see it if I show it to you. Oh, that light is so bright, but it's like a pastel pink. Um, so there was just the one AB that was in it. It did have pretty um, mauve colors. I thought the butterflies were really cute and that's why I chose this one because for the event, it was a smaller painting that I felt like at the time I would be able to get done. And then um, I like his art. I really do like JoJo's art. Um, his artwork, I think, is just beautiful. So I just wanted to come on here and do a quick post review. I'll get some close-ups of it. I'll go ahead and uh, scan over it for you guys for you to see what it looks like. If you have any questions for me, let me know. Uh, I'll just go over real quick again that it is a 42 by 60 with 35 colors, 1AB, number 127. And this is on Diamond Art Club's website and it's by JoJo's Art. So you guys let me know what you think. I'll go ahead and scan over it now. guys let me know what you think if you were able to stay all the way to the end please leave me a skull emoji in the comment section below thank you all for watching and remember to stay beautiful and to stay blessed bye